Channel, Diaz Provitayo, Proton on La Viti. Vitoma, Maname Tomek Music Cantif, Tedusis Fame, Swiki Vidan Kame. And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever. So why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing, talented artists and bringing it to the forefront of my channel? For us to view. Now, my next reactions of today, I'm very excited about this one because I would never ever expect this collaboration. I would never expect this collaboration, but I'm so glad that it's happened. This is Mama Rita, Mama Rika, and Cola. I know, like, what? Are you joking? <laughs> This is an amazing collaboration. I can't wait to press the play button. But before that, I want to read out what's in the description page. What I believe is a, a joint agreement of, of text. It really is. It says, this song is about people, ordinary Ukrainians, who thanks to their strength of spirit and, resist and resistance and, res and resilience turns into titans. Such unbreakable power can appear only when you do something good for someone and think not only about yourself. Oh, that's so strong. Strong and dominant, real, native, beautiful, hardworking, our people. This is a song about you and for you, about everyone whose heart beats faster when they hear the words home. Listen to her with your heart. Oh my God, you know what? For a man, it's almost like the, one of the most powerful things that a man can say is mum. <laughs> and I guess what the, one of the most powerful things that a family can say is home. I can't wait to press the play button. I, I, I know what Mama Rika's about and I know what Cola's about. And if you want two people to produce such heartfelt ballads... It's these two. I mean, I can I can pick out a, a handful of uh, female artists from the UK that can just absolutely, you know, create some crazy ballads and just really make you think about things. But there's something about Cola when she just opens her mouth and you stare right into her face. You you know that every kind of empathy and I don't know humanity that's in her is gonna come out in song and it oozes out. And like I said, Mamarik is the same. So I, I just, like, what? When I first saw the um, the thumbnail this morning, I was like, are you serious? <laughs> I was like, wow, okay. Download straight away. So here we are. This song is called People. And I just, like I said, I, I can only think what it's only about, but I won't know until I press the play button. So without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good feature audio music. Can you dig it? Ти питав мене, чи буду вірити в людей. Я буду бою люди, що живуться для людей. Ти питав мене, чи буду вірити в людей. Я буду бою люди, що живуть. It's going to make me cry again, isn't it? Collaboration is amazing. 
So that was Mama Rika with Cola, the song People. It's so evident that you can see within the visuals that this song was clearly about the Ukrainian people and the strength of the Ukrainian people and the, um, the patriotism of the Ukrainian people, the humanitarian of the um, Ukrainian people and so many titles that you can put underneath the European, um, Ukrainian people of what they're going through right about now. And yes, I, I was very close to tear because I said, women and children, it's, it's, it's any songs about them or, or any visuals about anywhere, women and children around the world. It's just, it just gets me really teary eyed really, really quickly. I see that um, Luda was in there. Um, I haven't reacted to that particular um, performance, but I've been hearing so many stories um, about that particular girl uh, performing um, massively on on um, on stage, and I can't remember what reaction I did where everybody told me about it. I know I, it, um, I'll find out, but it could be from another child uh, um, singer. So I have to go back into that and find out about that. But this was just absolutely crazily emotional in every aspect. I'm going to go into the two artists for a moment, if you don't mind. So. Mamarika and Cola, two amazing female artists, amazing vocals, but you see two complete different artists. I mean, Cola, I, I don't think I've ever seen Cola wear makeup. She's just not that person to wear makeup. She is, what you see is what you get. I hope, you know, hopefully, if she, if she goes out and anything else she does, um, where, and you know what, I'm not saying like makeup is a massive thing, but it just kind of gives you kind of a a small insight on the on the character of a person. Do you know the things that they can, you know, live without or do without that has no kind of significant in their in their life. You know, some people hold things certain things valuable more than others, um, and I don't see Cola as a materialistic person. You know, I see her as a, a minimalist. That's it. Something that can live with that just about hardly anything and still be crazy happy about that. You know? That's what I see. Uh, Mama Rika, as you know, she's, she, you know, she's been married. How long has she been married for now? About, what, three, four months now? Uh, I saw that, I think about three or four months. She has got this amazing storytelling. She really has. And I don't know, and it's so easy for her to tell that story. So easy to tell that story that when it comes to producing the music video, it's, it's like candy to a child. Because once you see the lyrical contents and you read and you listen to her, it's like, oh, it's, this is so simple. I know exactly what to do with the music video. And it just works, do you know? Her storytelling is absolutely, a, it really, really is amazing. But also hats off to Cola's... Uh, music producers as well who makes the videos is there a handful of music producers that's one thing that i haven't scrutinized yet as in studying the music video so much that i can almost tell who's done it 
You know, like, you know, movies. You can tell who's done the created the movies because of the style of the movie. It's the same thing with music videos, but I just haven't concentrated on that yet. So let me know of this modern era, who is the handful of the, you know, the, the goats, the best music movie, I mean, video makers. Who's the best music video makers out there right now? And I think I, I need to give them some serious round of applause because since, uh, you know, I, I, obviously I have been wrapped into um, Ukraine way before uh, the 24th of February, but since the 24th of February, is that these music, uh, these video, music video producers, these vi music video designers, these music, whatever you, creators, they have been absolutely brilliant in portraying artists' music in a way that it captures the hearts and souls and minds of the entire world. Because the world's looking at their visuals. The world is looking at their visuals in, in interpreting the artist's story. And I don't think that these music video producers or makers are getting the recognition that they so deserve. So we just give a round of applause for all the music. I don't know what to, what to, you know, the music producers, not music, yeah, not music producers, the video producers. There you go. The video producers, the videos makers. We just give them a round of applause because they have done an absolute tremendous job. And I've, I just feel that there's only a handful of them out there right now that are at the forefront, the front line in making these amazing videos in encouraging and energizing the Ukrainian people. So look, hats off because you guys, even though you guys are at the front line, you're hardly being mentioned. And I feel that you so deservingly need to be mentioned. You really, really do. So I'm going to start doing that. But until then, I salute you. Boom. I'm